Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today we're talking about Fusion and this little toolbar right here. And did you, hey, did you, did you know that you can customize this? I guess I've known that for a while, but I didn't, I didn't realize how freaking handy this is. Check this out. You go over here to some blank space, maybe. Right click and say customize and you can create a new toolbar. Check this out. I'll say create toolbar. Look at this right here. Let's, let's make a new toolbar. Let's call it Casey's Faves. Yeah. Hit OK. And now nothing happens. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Smash it. Just destroy that like button. No, I'm just kidding. Now that you're on a custom toolbar, you can right click anywhere here. And where it says customize. Oh, well, look at this. You can remove just that icon or you can even remove the group. So let's do some of that. Let's say I don't really use particles a lot. I'll remove this group. Maybe I'm not into 3D stuff. Customize, remove group. I like my masks. Maybe I don't usually use hue curves, whatever. I can just remove hue curves. Kind of get this, uh, kind of get this going. You know what I'm saying? And then you can add new ones by going up to effects library and opening up the tools here. And look at all these things that are available. Oh, baby. For instance, maybe a shadow. I want to add a shadow to things. You just drag that down to the toolbar. Pretty cool. This is a great thing to do anyway, just to kind of look through these effects and see what's out there. Because they're all roughly organized into these categories. Directional blur, I feel like I use quite a bit. Film grain. Underlay. These are the good ones. These are the, these are the jams. And now that we have our custom toolbar, we can even add little dividers. Let's say for some reason we like these in kind of a group. We can say customize, add divider, and that'll add a little divider in between. And you can really just easily make your own little buttons here. It's super convenient. Now I got a fancy fusion comp here. Got my text, whatever. Let's say I want to add a little, uh, little shadow to it. Boom. I got a little shadow going on. Look at that. Easy. Offset that baby. If I want to label all of this, I can select all of this and just bam, hit my underlay. Look how quick that is. That's nice. That's nice. So if you're looking for a way to speed up fusion a little bit, that's a nice little, that's a nice little, uh, little tool there. Hey, yeah. If you want more videos on fusion, we have a playlist going on right here. Check it out. Check it out. It's good. If you stayed all the way here, why, why don't you just hit the like button, you know? Let me know that you like it, because then I, in internet land, can know that you like something. Because how else am I supposed to know? I can't hear you or see you, uh, as far as you know. 